What's up everybody, welcome back to a new video. If you haven't hit that big red button, make sure to do so and drop a like and a comment down below. I would really appreciate it. Now, just like the last video in this at home workout dumbbell series, I'm gonna to hop straight into the video and we're gonna talk about dumbbell back workout. Now I know it can be hard to hit a good back workout with dumbbells, but these three exercises that I'm gonna show you definitely helped me develop a pretty good back over the past year. And there's something that I feel like I get a pretty good pump in my back when I do these exercises. I'm gonna walk you through them, I'm gonna explain how I do them, my reps and whatnot, and overall go over explain how to do them. Now, if there are other workouts that work for you, I would love to hear them down below, but these are three of the best, in my opinion, that you can do with dumbbells and limited equipment. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it. First, we start off with a dumbbell bent over row. I put one leg and hand up on a bench for stability, then with my opposite leg and arm on the side of the bench, I pick up the dumbbell and start rowing. I personally like to go full range of motion from bottom to top. It is important to maintain a lumbar curve, which is essentially a little arc in your lower back. I switch sides, then do five sets of 15 reps per side. In this demonstration, I only do 10, but this has to be one of my favorite back exercises, even with access to a gym. I'm repping them out a little fast here, but when you get a good squeeze in, nothing feels better. Next, we move on to a dumbbell row. This is just like a barbell row, but with dumbbells. You get into a half squat position with a flat back, then pick up your dumbbells and start rowing. You want to pull back and up. At the bottom, I like to come together and pull them apart in a way up almost as if I am creating a window to put my body through. I like to do four sets of 15 to 12 reps, and on the last two sets, I like to add more weight. This exercise is great, but make sure to maintain good form so you avoid injury. If the weight is too heavy, lighten the load. It's all about mind-muscle connection, and make sure you're getting in a great pump. The next exercise is set up just like an incline bench. If you watched the previous video, I show how to set up an incline if you do not have an incline bench. Here you lay facing forwards with your chest on the bench. Reach down on both sides and grab the dumbbells and just like a row, start pulling. It's important to get a tight squeeze at the top and slowly go down. This not only will burn, but will add more to your back gains in no time. 